Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Kruskal's minimum spanning tree algorithm, which is the concept of graphs in data structures. First, let us see the definition of minimum spanning tree. It is defined as the spanning tree that has the minimum weight among all the possible spanning trees. Basically, we construct a spanning tree from a graph. For one graph, we can have many possible spanning trees. So, among all the possible spanning trees, the tree which is having the minimum weight is considered as the minimum spanning tree. In short, we call it as MST. Before going on to the concept of Kruskal's MST, let us understand the basic properties of spanning tree. The spanning tree is constructed from a connected undirected graph which holds certain principles. Let us see the principles one by one. The total number of vertices in the given graph and the total number of vertices in the constructed spanning tree should be in same number. Then the total number of edges in the constructed spanning tree should be equivalent to 1 less than the total number of vertices in the given graph. That is E should be equivalent to V minus 1. Here E is the number of edges in the spanning tree which should be equal to 1 less than the number of vertices available in the graph then the spanning tree should not be disconnected. That is, there should be connectivity between the nodes. The spanning tree should not contain any cycles. The total weight or the total cost of the spanning tree is defined as the sum of the edge weights of all the edges in the spanning tree. Finally, there can be many possible spanning trees for a given graph. So, these are the principles of uh, spanning tree. So, now we will see the steps to find MST using Kruskal's algorithm. First step is we have to sort all the edges in the non-decreasing order of their weight that is in ascending order of their weight. After sorting we have to pick the smallest edge. Obviously, the first one will be the smallest edge because we have arranged all the edges in ascending order. After picking the smallest edge, we have to check if it forms a cycle with the spanning trees formed so far. If it is not forming any cycles, then we can consider that edge and we can include it in the spanning tree. Otherwise, we have to discard it. If it forms any cycle, we should discard that particular edge. Then we have to repeat this step 2 until there are V minus 1 edges in the spanning tree. Because our final spanning tree should have the V minus 1 edges of the graph. So, we have to repeat this step 2 until we have this criteria. So, these are the three steps to find the MST using Kruskal's algorithm. The Kruskal's algorithm basically uses the greedy approach. Why? Because it picks the smallest weightage which will not form any cycle in the MST constructed so far. Now, let us discuss the concept of Kruskal's MST using an example. So, consider this graph. Here, it contains totally 9 vertices and 14 edges. So, the circled ones are called as vertices and the lines are called as edges. So, we have 0 to 8, 9 vertices and 14 edges. Our final spanning tree should have 9 minus 1, that is V minus 1 edges, that is 8 edges. So, first step is according to our algorithm, we have to arrange the edges in the ascending order. So, according to the weights, we have to arrange it in the ascending order. So, this is illustrated in this table. So, we have arranged all the weights of the graph in ascending order. So, if it is duplicated, we make it uh, two times um, if it occurs two times. So, for each weight, we have source and destination. So, if we consider the weight 1, you can see here the source is considered as 7 and the destination is considered as 6 and then we have 2, 2 times here. So, if we consider this, the source will be 8 and the destination will be 2 as mentioned here and if we consider this weight, the source is 6 and the destination is 5. Similarly, for 4 also it occurs 2 times here 
So if we consider this four, the source is uh, zero and the destination is one. And if we consider this uh, four, the source is considered as two and the destination is five. So like this for remaining weights also, we have to frame the source and destination. So by using this table only, we have to construct the spanning tree. So first, according to our uh, algorithm, we have arranged it in the ascending order. The second step is we have to pick the smallest edge. So initially, which is the smallest edge? The one which is in the first row, that is weight one. So pick that edge. So pick the edge seven, six, uh, that is with source seven and uh, destination six and then we have to include it in the spanning tree. So since this is an initial edge, it won't form any cycle. So we are including it. Next is we have to consider the, so we have to repeat this step until we do, we'll be having the V minus N, one edges in the spanning tree. So in the second row, we have the edge with source eight and destination two. So let us see whether it is forming any cycle. It won't form any cycle. So pick the edge eight two and we are adding it to the spanning tree with the uh, weight 2. It is not forming any cycle, so we are just including it. So next in the third row, we have 6, 5. So we'll add 1, 5 to 6 and attach it with the weight 2. So it won't form any cycle. We'll see in the next uh, step. So pick the edge 6, 5. So we are adding it here with the weight 2 and it is not forming any cycle so we are just including it next we have the uh, edge with source 0 and destination 1 so it will also not form any cycle so we have to include this to the existing uh, spanning tree so pick the edge 0 1 add it so it is added here with the weight 4 it is not creating any cycle so we are including it Next in the order, we have the edge with source 2 and destination 5. So already we have 2 here and 5 here. We have to draw a line here. So it is not forming any cycle. We have to check. So pick the edge and then connect it. So we have connected 2 and 5 with the weight 4. It is not creating any cycle here. So we are including it as it is. Next in the order, we have 8 and 6. So here we have 8 and 6. If we connect this, we will be forming a cycle. So since it is forming cycle, 8, 6 is forming cycle, we have to discard it. And then we have to move to the next row that is source 2 and destination 3. Check whether it is forming any cycle. So 2 and 3 with the weight 7, this one. It is not forming any cycle, so we are including it. Next, we have source 7 and destination 8. So we have 7 here and 8 here. If we connect these two, it will form a cycle like this. So what we have to do? We have to discard it. So next in the row, we have 0, 7. So pick the edge 0, 7. Check whether it is forming any cycle. So 0 and 7 connected with the weight 8 it is not forming any cycle so we are including it next in the uh, row we have 1 and 2 source is 1 and destination is 2 so here 1 2 if we connect this it will form a cycle like this so it will form a cycle so what we have to do we have to discard it so next in the row we have 3 and 4 source is 3 and destination is 4 let us check whether it is forming a cycle or not so source 3 and then destination 4 with the weight 9, it is not forming any cycle. Now you check whether we have attained the V minus 1 edges. So totally how many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So total number of vertices in our graph is 9. So it is uh, V minus 1, E is equal to V minus 1, 8 we are getting. So we are stopping here. So total uh, edge is V minus 1. Thus, uh, our final minimum spanning tree is constructed and we are stopping the algorithm. Thank you.